Welcome to the show, folks. Today, tuning in to the Racial Slurs podcast. No, it's Sorry. actually Northwest Trenches. It's actually Northwest Trenches. Fooled you. Got you again. Um, Got you. But anyhow, I, I had a I had this like thought recently. Mm. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about the whole Chris from Mr. Beast thing. Ah, uh, yes, we did. And how we discussed it little, last. Yeah. yeah, last episode, and like I was thinking about how he transitioned. Mm. What like if he if he went out on Twitter and instead of saying like everybody, my name is Chris from Mr. Beast and I'm trans. What if instead he was like. I'm actually coming out today as <laughs> I I'm a good person. Like, do you think people would care well, nearly as much? Well, if he came out as I don't think they would a person with mental issues or anything like that, then uh, I think him doing so many of the things he did at the time, like the whole Shadman stuff. Uh, would be yeah, received like differently. Like killing babies or something. Yeah, it would be received <laughs> differently. Yeah. Be received You're right, it would be received a um, lot differently. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, if he said he had a mental issue and he did, like, what Shadman was making at the time to the point where he bought a poster, I think that yeah. would be fine. But yeah. he's straight up just a normal person. Yeah. Uh, he, I, I don't think outside of wanting to yeah. change his gender, there was any mental thing. Uh, well, so yeah, normal person, you know, he kind of was a bit of a, um, a little bit had some yeah. moments, yeah, I, but uh, I, I mean, other than that, yeah, yeah definitely a normal guy, yeah. normal woman, of other than that, all things considered I, I'm, I'm not like you're sure you're absolutely that. right about that in a way i guess it's just you can look at certain things that certain people do and just villainize them completely mm -hmm. but if they have yeah like any sort of thing outside of what chris did then uh it'd be perfectly fine i think in some cases uh maybe this is a dumb reasoning yeah. so you so like, are you saying, like, he probably would have been better off coming out as as opposed to coming out as transgender? Uh, like, he would have had a lot less problems overall? Well... I think he would have had a lot less problems overall if he came out as... This is going to be a Twitter. strange, strange relation. But do you remember the Woe Vicky lady? <laughs> If, yeah. If you did the Woe yeah. Vicky route with transgenderism, I, remember. I think people would just like ignore half of the shit he did. Wait, wait, what's what's what is the Woe Vicky route? I Woe need Vicky some explanation on what route she took. When she was obviously a white woman for like five years, and then she stopped doing it, and now she's a model. Oh, okay, so you're saying if Chris from Mr. Beast was like, he came out as red, and then he stuck with that for five years, and then he stopped doing that, like, he'd be cool? Like, it, everything would be fine? <laughs> I think or... so, honestly. I think so. Yeah. Uh, th again, this is I... <laughs> probably a terrible relation here, and a terrible thing to even think about uh, trying to make this guy sound any better than he is. Uh, yeah, but at the same time, Chris is also just a nightmare person. Uh, if you've heard yeah. the podcast before, nightmare people not the best, um, especially since Chris did talk to younger people. He did yeah that was... negotiate with younger people in the staff, which is something they won't bring up, but that is what he did. He was doing shit like that too. Um. Additionally, yeah, I, I'll be honest. There's so much other crap, man. I, I haven't been, I haven't been keeping up on like, kind of what's been going on, like after the allegations yeah. originally hit. Yeah, I have not really been paying attention very much, like, but but like I I literally like I get high like high off of weed. Yeah, and then uh, 
I watch like a Turkey Tom video about it, but then I just start thinking about like other shit mm -hmm. because because I'm high as shit on weed. So I miss like half the video. So as far as I know, to expand on what we talked about like last week regarding it, like Mr. Like Mr. Beast is being exposed yeah. for faking his videos. Yeah, that, that's a which... big uh, thing <laughs> I was spreading out for Cookbook, uh, our other Discord server we're both in. Well, my whole thing is like, what adult did it take till fucking now to realize those videos are fake. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like, fake to the extent... I knew they were fake like, the moment Mr. Terrible. Beast hit the fucking scene, yet there's people who are my age who are like, whoa, this is news, guys. Mr. Beast didn't actually fucking shred a thousand Lamborghinis in an industrial yeah, shredder? Yeah. What do you mean? How, how, how could he have faked that? Like, Shut up! Well, the like, thing, are you are you like maybe, thing, maybe it's those people that need to be coming out as retarded, not Chris Tyson. The, the thing like, what that, the fuck? Uh, the thing that makes it uh, fake is that he, Mr. Beast, was promoting feastables with giveaways and all sorts of bullshit. But when you scan the code or type the code or anything into the website, it turns into internet gambling for little kids. That's the thing that was really pissing no me way. off when I learned that. Um, additionally, the Is whole that like put the main your finger on the button people have with him right now. Yeah, that that's the main thing that he needs to address. Is oh, I have been promoting gambling. Oh, I have been promoting money over everything. He needs to have a video explaining that shit or people are going to get more mad at him about these things. Also, mm -hmm. the uh, put your finger on the app and leave it there thing was a fucking scam. It was yeah. such a fucking scam. There's no way around it. Did nobody win that? Nobody won the first one because everybody got eliminated at the same time like 26 hours in because the server couldn't hold up. From what I remember. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's just... You can Very only true. trust a guy so much, especially when he has live streams of him signing shirts, and then he has the goal to go, whoever buys a shirt in the next 10 seconds wins a PS5. <laughs> There's no fucking <laughs> way that they're going to track that shit. <laughs> What, what are you talking about, Mr. Beast? There is no way. What the fuck? He did that at least <laughs> twice from what I saw out of that 50-minute video exposing him for these things. Uh, additionally, I always and that's like... always criticize that they need to get receipts at the end of every single Mr. Beast video to prove that the person won the money or won the challenge or whatever. Mm-hmm. Especially when it comes to buying a fucking island, you need a receipt that says, hey, we transferred ownership to this guy. You can't just go, we're having an island that anybody could win, and then a guy wins it, and then you don't show proof that he won it. You know, that makes no fucking sense. Yeah, that's true. Um, And, you know, I was talking about, like, Mr. Beast like Freemason shit last week and how he's like down with the Freemasons yeah. in the deep state and they, they propelled him to the top and then you know like all that shit Mr. Beast 666 that is referred to as the number of the beast was that Mr. His old... Beast number of the beast was, was that his old uh, YouTube numbers when he had numbers uh, I've, I thought it was 6 I have no idea I'm just well, I, I don't know about that. I just know that um, Mr. Beast has a satanic name, and he's promoting, uh, like, money over everything, mm. right? So, mm. like, fuck your family, fuck your friends, mm. fuck your dog, fuck your cat, fuck everything. You get that money. That's greed. Greed is a sin. Um, in addition to that, pride also. I think pride and greed go hand in hand. That's a sin. Would you count Chris um, as pride? I, I guess I kind of have to. Yeah, in, in a way. In a way. Gay pride, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
No, but the, this just goes back to what I'm saying. Like, Mr. Beast is a satanic Freemason, and he's going, he's, like, Mr. Beast is essentially the Antichrist. Like, am I wrong? Mr. Beast, the Antichrist? I mean, it, it all goes together. With this, with this I, I satanic say cabal, that. I wouldn't say the satanic that. cabal I would say wants to foolish, utilize Mr. Beast foolish to make us a lot of money. No, he's satanic, and and he hates America, and he hates Jesus. The, mm. This is all real. This is all real, completely real shit. You well, can look this up about Mr. Beast. This is, is real, one hundred percent. I would never his lie way about to be this. Charitable, and he has to help other people with ailments and heal them. Well, is that why? That, that's interesting. That's interesting. You say that because um, before the second coming of Christ, the devil is going to come back. At you know, the Antichrist is going to come back, and he is essentially. I think it goes. He's a false prophet. So he's coming mm -hmm. in, essentially doing things that Jesus would do, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, charitable acts, curing the sick, housing the homeless, all this stuff. When in reality, it's the devil playing a facade. It's Satan. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Beast, he does all that shit, right? Yeah. Guy's the Antichrist. He's the Antichrist. I'm not saying I'm against this theory, right? I'm just saying. No, this like, is real. This isn't a theory. This is like a hundred percent real. I know I'm, a bunch of people who hmm. who like know shit about Mr. Beast personally, and they can corroborate this stuff. Like, I, he's, I just think he's the he's Antichrist. real scummy for making kids believe in giveaways and shit, and then never coming through with it. And he just cares about profit, um, especially mm -hmm. with the feastables, where you literally type in a code and play a gambling like roulette wheel. And you always lose. It's shit like that that is just terrible for the youth to well, be around. Get this too, Mr. Beast Feastables, right? The Final Supper, that was a feast for Jesus and his acolytes. Who was there? Judas, hmm. a follower of Satan. Is that uh, what, at the Last Supper, at the at Jesus's would final you say that's feast? Carl Jacobs, in this case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carl, <laughs> Carl, or, uh, or Chandler, maybe. I, I, all I'm saying, Mr. Beast is the Antichrist, and he probably sold out Jesus all those years ago, and he just Judas reincarnated as at least one member of the Mr. Beast crew. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, you know, you could even go far, and I just put this together in my head. I, I don't actually believe any of this, but um, <laughs> it is interesting how they have. A guy that's super into Christianity on the Mr. Yeah, Beast yeah, team. Chandler. If yeah. the Antichrist is supposed to be a, a false prophet, obviously he'd be promoting stuff like Christianity, but he'd be doing it to the detriment of others. He would mm. be twisting Christianity. Mm. And now I've never seen what Chandler has to say about the Bible, and personally I've never even read the Bible. Mm -hmm. However, I do know this is another thing. Like, like I've been saying, Mr. Beast is the Antichrist. Like. Hmm. One of these days, he's gonna nail somebody to a fucking cross. <laughs> We're g yeah. N what next, Mr. Beast image. upload. What a crazy. Ne next, image. Mr. Beast upload. You We're gonna crucify a hundred homeless people, and the last <laughs> one to survive gets five dollars. You, you want to know homeless something? People are like, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you want to know something that that relates to somehow that I can bridge into something else with? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Meat Canyon has a video of Tommy in it being turned into a Minecraft character and then crucified oh, on yeah. a Minecraft server. Um and that relates us into Dream S and P shit, if you want to go that way. <laughs> Has there been any new Dream SMP, like, pedophile allegations or something? Well, outside of Dream taking, like, six months off because people were calling him gay and stupid, uh, he came back, and they continued to call him gay and stupid, and he got mad about it. Uh, that was the last thing I heard. So, pretty funny shit. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, I don't even know what to say to that. People were calling him gay, and he was like, "Guys, I need, 
that's I'm pretty sure that's how Dream talks. Yeah. Guys, I need six months off. I just <laughs> all this hate from everybody is just really bothering me, and it's getting to me. They keep calling me gay. Like, <laughs> dude, I get called gay online all the fucking time. I'm still here. Hmm. What a pussy. Hmm. I bet I could beat Dream in a fist fight. <laughs> he's like Go to a uh, fucking Texas Roadhouse parking lot. Like as, use that as the ring. I think twenty-seven year old man fighting you. Well, I would beat I would beat the brakes off of Dream. Dream wouldn't stand a chance <laughs> against me. Dream would turn into a pile of mush on the floor when I'm done with him. Yeah, his 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 asshole would start leaking because of mm. the fear coursing mm. through his veins. He'd be so scared that he'd have a IBS attack. Oh, I and got another. Thing. I think he would actually no. Never mind. Dream would win because he'd be so scared he'd have an IBS attack and he'd try spray diarrhea all <laughs> over me. So I, I yeah. want to be nowhere near that guy. Yeah, that is true. So uh, yeah, never mind. I won't <laughs> fight Dream. I don't want want to fight him. It's um, too powerful. I just remembered that like two days ago. Dr. Disrespect tried to come back on Twitter.com. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go for um, him? Immediately. Could have been good. Immediately, uh, Trevor, uh, good old Modest Cube, friend of uh, Cow Chop and all those guys. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. He blatantly went, dog, just get the fuck off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> just like so <laughs> calm about it and i was like yeah that's the right response uh just the, dude shut up the picture in context was uh dr disrespect playing chess and he was the black pieces um and people are like are you a slave owner now <laughs> and shit like that too and i was like i would have oh, just fuck. called I would have just called him the N word. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just started calling him Rachel Dolezal in oh. his comments. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh it, it was very confusing for him to even try to come back because everybody yeah. ousted him. His response basically said he did it. And then he didn't make any sort of video trying to defend himself in any way and instead went on a live stream and went guys after this stream i'm gonna take a bit of time off and i'll come back better than ever better than ever and and then he posed a picture of him playing chess wow yeah. that's i don't even know what to say to that doc <laughs> And it's crazy to me that Dr. Disrespect, he's been around for so fucking long. You'd think he would have paid attention to other people messaging minors and say, hey, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. And more so, maybe think about it and say, <laughs> yeah, no, this is immoral. I sh definitely should not be doing like, this, uh, all things considered. Like the mini lad stuff happened around the same time that uh, Dr. Disrespect messaged this person. Like oh, no you shit. would, wow! You would think, Dude, what the? Fuck? You would think he would learn from it, but he didn't. So there's yeah, that. Th that's like, it's like the one of the survivors of a fucking, uh, what was that place, Jonestown or whatever, oh, where yeah. they all drank Kool Aid and yeah. died. Imagine being the one guy that didn't drink the Kool Aid. You see everybody convulsing and dying, and you're like. Man, I'm fucking thirsty right now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, we are in a new month, so the internet will figure out something about another pedophile this month. Yeah. I feel like and there's been, like, hella controversy on YouTube and shit lately. Like, yeah. I feel like a day, there isn't a day that goes by that there's not, like, some new, you know, like... Oh, so and so is a pedophile. Mm. So and so is a creep. So and so is a racist. Like <laughs> just constantly, yeah. Cause, like even fucking like critical or whatever. Yeah, critical got He's... in trouble because well, Nico it, he was a pussy about it. Around. First of all, he he was a pussy about going about that saying. Oh, with all this flack I've been taking, I think I'm gonna take some time off the internet. Like, dude, you're moist critical. Like. You're telling me, like, you can't just ignore that shit yeah. and just be like, dude, who cares? He was getting combative with Sneeko when everybody knows him as a guy that just covers internet news. 
Like we don't well, that's, we don't care about Critical's opinion as much as he thinks that, we do. That's the other funny thing is um so like Sneeko like was waving a fucking gun around saying he's gonna kill mm-hmm. Critical and Critical responded and just fucking bodied it his ass. <laughs> Why would he sit down and have a discussion with a guy like that? I feel like if somebody's threatening me with gun violence, I'm probably not going to want to talk to them again in any capacity. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. And, and, and also, you're like, like, on an Xbox call and some fucking asshole in your game chat is, like, ch- trying to get your address and shit. Just leave. Yeah. Leave it alone. Get out of there. Yeah, and then, like... um and it, and it is kind of ironic, like, he bodied Sneeko so hard. Sneeko didn't even do anything, and low-key, he <laughs> is responsible for Critical being bodied online and yeah. on Twitter and shit right now. Like, he's... I Like, I hate Sneeko. I think he's a fucking fag, but, like... I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny that yeah. he did kind of get the last laugh after their last, like, run-in with controversy together, like... That's really funny. I, I think it's funny <laughs> that uh, this blew up in Critical's face so much that he had to go out of his way the other day to make a video about himself. And then he said, I am no longer covering drama on this channel. It is just going to be gaming and movie reviews. And I'm no longer on my podcast and, <laughs> and all this other shit. And I was like, what? What? What are you doing? Yeah, that's lame. Like, I don't know. Tell me you have no balls like without telling retreat. me you have no balls. It's a retreat maneuver. You don't just give up on shit when yeah. somebody he wasn't beats even, your ass about it. It wasn't even catas like this wasn't like um uh what was it with Israel and Egypt, the seven day war or something, mm. where like Israel beat the living breaks off of Egypt in seven days and like it just took a week for it, Egypt to be like, Yeah, I'm done with this shit. Yeah. Like it, like it wasn't even, like the the flack he fucking critical was getting like it wasn't it the wasn't seven days much. war yeah. of flack he's it getting it's like the fuck, like he had a fighting chance like all he really had to do was explain himself say what he actually thought about the thing okay okay I'm fucking Hey guys, it's critical. Uh, I don't really give a fuck if you disagree. This is just my well, opinion. Well, the thing I um, I'm probably not going to do uh, another political debate. The thing like that that's all I he has to do is not do political debates. From from how Charlie described it, is that uh, Sneeko kind of moved the goalposts around like six different ways, and he couldn't keep up, and that's how he lost the argument is because he couldn't keep up. Yeah, people talk shit about moving goalposts in an argument, but I tell you what, it's a really good way to win. Yeah, it, it's you just it's just really fucking annoying. That's you you can sure. you can get to a point where you're not even arguing about the original topic, and from that point, it's like, yeah, <laughs> I don't really care anymore. I just wasted an hour of your time. Yeah, yeah, you go from like <laughs> talking about Super Mario Sunshine and like debating if it's a good game. And then, like, 16 different things happen, and then somehow you're talking about, like, Marvel versus Capcom 2 for some yeah, reason. Yeah, we're talking about the, the Nintendo's overall impact in all of its, like, history on the stock market yeah. of the world. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, where it eventually it's so will go. fucking far away, dude. Like, it's yeah, so like, yes, I, I will move those fucking goalposts as far as possible if that's what it takes to... <laughs> to, to, to tap someone out of the of a fucking argument. I did not see uh, Deadpool and Wolverine yet. Is it out? It is out. It it's is out actually closet. like the best movie that came out this year already. Uh, when it comes to like financials. no way, it's like no really way. fucking high up there. Oh, dog. financially, yeah, probably. It is really I... fucking up there. It's really cool. Yeah, financially okay, I'll get that, but just I it just sucks that Wikipedia doesn't give you more than like 3 days to not look at spoilers on the article. So, right. whenever I pull up the movie and I put up the article, there's just already spoilers in the first like 10 seconds of me reading the article. Maybe that's me being dumb. I don't know. I just like looking at profit margins and stuff like that. And then yeah, right next man. to it is the synopsis. 
and it's telling me every spoiler possible, so I have to ignore it. <laughs> I have to put a fucking wall there in my head to not look at it. Yeah, whenever, um, excuse me. <sighs> whenever I watch, or I'm going to watch a new movie, I, uh, I don't even watch movie trailers anymore, really, unless I see it in mm-hmm. the theater. Uh, I just, if, if somebody's like, hey, I think you'd like this movie, I just go into it trying to know as little as possible <laughs> so I can just take the whole fucking thing at like face value dude HP support assistant is going wild right now I've cancelled it and it's not going away man yeesh oh I can talk about Fallout London a little more the game oh, yeah. actually How has, uh, that been flowing? the game actually worked the other day so I played another 15 minutes of it um, and then it crashed. But uh, the 15 minutes, I talked with a guy uh, at a fire who was bleeding out, and I healed him. And then uh, everybody around him died suddenly, and then the oh, game sick. crashed. So that was fun. Uh, outside of that... Fallout London's launcher is kind of like fucked up for me and there's like a big gray line in the middle of it don't know what that's about but there's that um yeah that's that's fucked (laughs) uh we played the Fallout tabletop the other day really good time yesterday we advanced in the story a bit. Uh, we fought these guys in a gang called the Thorns, and we beat the, the shit out of them. Uh, Logan's character is a super mutant named Solomon, and he just fucking drugged up immediately and ran over people. Pretty good time. Uh, mm. On the other end, I was in the lobby most of the time taking pot shots at people. And since I was stuck in the lobby, uh, Tyler just kept on having people come after me and beat me up. So that was fun. Wait, wait, you were you were corner camping with Ghost yeah. Brawn? <laughs> yeah, dude. And he said, you're not allowed to camp? Apparently, yeah, <laughs> What is apparently. this, fucking the Soviet Union? <laughs> Fuck that. But, uh, I love camping. But yeah, I killed four dudes, one guy with a headshot. Another guy shot him in the heart. Uh, pretty lit kind of shit there. Uh, Atlas's character, uh, Milo, was running around healing. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> the entire the head in the time. heart. I hear. I hear if somebody shoots you in like the head or the heart, you die. Yeah, so I, I would hope so. That's pretty good. I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess there are some people that can live through it. If the bullet passes a certain way, but they mm-hmm. probably are stuck to a wheelchair for the rest of their life. Um, yeah, that that's happened before, I think, when it comes to like military stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, people have survived being shot in the head too, mm. um, which is crazy to me. I don't think I would want to survive being shot in the head or in the face. Whoa. I feel like I just look really fucked up afterwards. Do you remember? And then I uh, want to fuck up the person that did it to me. I'd want to hurt that person. So it's like, okay, I'm already going to prison and I'm ugly. Like, just I, I hope I don't survive a shot to the head. I'm you just remember saying that. Uh, the main guy from Mafia Three? They pretty uh, yeah. much gave him the Fallout New Vegas treatment and shot him in the head, pretty much, and he lived. Really? Yeah. When like, it, it when like the game did that happen? And knocked him out. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they fall out New Vegas to him. Maybe that's why I like that guy as a character, Lincoln Clay from Mafia Three. And it, <laughs> he was like the only like normal, like not um, over exaggerated black person in that whole game. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you remember the intro where he gets back, but that one old head is there, and he's like, <laughs> Oh, who, look who it is! It's Lincoln Clay! <laughs> oh, my yeah, favorite brother! Oh, yeah, or whatever. 
Oh, it's so yeah. good to see you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> like, like they got like the. Like, I don't know who passed that on to say you, the the yeah. Your voice acting is pretty good for this character. Mm. Your mocap works amazing, but um, yeah. Could you make it more racist? <laughs> Could you make it the most stereotypical old sounding black guy ever? I kind of forgot. That. Yeah, thanks. That yeah, that that boy, I can I can be whatever kind of black guy you want me to, brother. <laughs> like <laughs> dude, uh, what the fuck? Who, whose idea was that? <laughs> I kind like, of forgot. Very, like he like Lincoln Clay can't just come back to the fucking bar or whatever and they'll be like Oh my god, dude. I'm so glad you survived <laughs> fucking Vietnam. Thank god you're here. Just like... Vietnam? Oh my... My boy. Like, holy shit, man. I, Just chill I almost on forgot that. the uh, framing device was like a documentary. Like, Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot was. that was the framing device for the whole story. That was really cool. Yeah. That, was re that was actually really fucking awesome. I can't think of another game that's done that. And since the pastor lived, he was there the entire documentary. Uh, if you have, if you have Lincoln, I, I remember when Lincoln Clay died. It was a sad, <laughs> sad day in the commune. I tell you what, they say the Gators down in the bio done ate his ass up after we oh, did that. I that fucking, I was fucking, a good boy, dude. I fucking wish if you died from a Gator, they had the pastor in the like the cut scene after you die going oh he was such a good man he was so cool he w <laughs> every dude, death you have in the whole dude, game if you get like, shot in the it's head a scene by a certain from the documentary guy, <laughs> it goes oh lincoln k he was shot by Timothy e. williams second uh fucking sucks for him i hope he's doing okay that lincoln that boy Lincoln Clay, he was a good boy. I remember him. He got shot by that crack of Martin Williams. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's kind of like uh, the Batman Arkham games where you die from like Harley Quinn's henchman and she's like, ah, oh, that fucking sucks for you, dickhead. And then she keeps walking. <laughs> I really wish they did that with Mafia 3. That would have been so sick. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, Lincoln Clay comes back and he's like, Lincoln Clay, I got a pack of new points with your name on it. Right Hell on yeah, it. Right on it, boy. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Dude, Chester That's... Stone being arrested sucks, by the way. Chester Stone's arrested. He got arrested? Yeah. For what? I don't remember. Getting too much pussy, being too smooth with the ladies? I sure hope so. I sure That's what I, would think. I sure hope it's not something terrible. I just remember that he was arrested recently. Damn, dude. That's sad. <laughs> I can't Free believe you talked about you know what I'm saying? Soft day. <laughs> dude, it's a great fucking game. When it first came out, people were like, "This this game, the story's bad and the and the, 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 the writing is b b bad." And it's like, "Dude, just it's a good game. Shut the fuck up." I, it still lasts like learn. a seven or eight for me, honestly. Like, it's not that bad. I I love Mafia Three. I thought it was a great fucking game. It has fucking Joey Coco Diaz in it, and he's all like, "Oh, come down to my fucking me shop. Uh, <laughs> we're in the south, but I'm from fucking New Jersey." Like, dude, he's from New Jersey. He's in yeah. the south. There's Moth. Like, what the fuck, bro? Um. And Mafia 3, it also had the opportunity to, like, beat Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, for how many N-words are said, and they just <laughs> didn't capitalize off of that at all. I don't know why. Like, the world record, it's like it's dangling right in front of you, and you're just not going to take it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't Mafia understand that. Three, one fucking second. Mafia 3 is one of those games that I can recall certain parts of it because of the gameplay loop. Uh, yeah. Especially since it's like you have to take down those smaller guys to get to the bigger guys. I like those kind of games. It's the same thing yeah, with same. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah, it's Wildlands. That yeah, that's why I love game Wildlands. Is so good because it goes small guy, hey, a bigger guy, an even bigger guy, the main bad guy. You know, it it branches upward, which is really fucking yeah. cool. 
Far Cry 5 kind of did that, not to the same extent as like Wildlands or Mafia 3, but you did have, you had to beat three bad guys, and then you got to the main bad guy, and then I don't even think there was a boss fight for that one. Um, there, there is, but it's really short. The, the fight with the seed guy is really short because he like teleports around and all you have to do is shoot oh, him yeah. a couple times and that's yeah it. it's like a, okay yeah you're right it's like a hallucination thing almost yeah. like some shit like that uh, yeah I forgot about that but no I, I fucking love games where it's methodical <laughs> like alright you gotta take this guy's the captain alright mm. this guy runs the fucking gambling this guy runs the bookmaking operations once you take him out you can take over his shit like I've think that's just really badass i, I, I think really it wish i was good at uh, i really wish i was good at playing shadow of mordor because that's the same kind of game playing gameplay mm-hmm. uh but that game's way too difficult for my little brain i guess i don't know i played shadow of mordor for a little bit i my buddy lent it to me for like a week and i i liked that game i thought it was pretty good i wasn't like terrible at it there there are some fights that are just like completely skewed against you like no matter what you do yeah like, you, you literally have to be as over-leveled as possible to do some of these fucking fights. But, like, other than that, I thought it was a pretty well-balanced, good game. Hmm. Man, we've been talking about games for a hot minute. Uh, speaking of games... Welcome to Game Chat, no, everybody, the new your new no, favorite gaming podcast. Honestly. All right, today we're going to be talking about whether or not Mario's penis is 8 or 9 inches. I, I think it's 8, I'm not sure. He's lying. It's nine. It's nine. He's lying. He's lying. It's fucking eight. Do you see how tall those shoes are? It's fucking eight. No. He's fucking lying. It's fucking nine. (laughs) I don't know if we had another hour. uh, We could have a secondary pod, I guess. Just about games. It, we realistically could. That, that could be our grift. We just have nine different podcasts <laughs> with like low viewership, but we have Patreons for all of them. Mm-hmm. So uh, collectively, we'll be making like uh, probably like 300 bucks, bucks a month or some shit. 300, yeah. Yeah, yeah between 100 there. and 300 bucks a month. So, like, I mean, it's better than zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's what I'm saying. Uh, but if the pod ever does blow up, my God. First thing we do is probably Patreon shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Like 30 absolutely. minutes somewhere in there for the pod. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Gosh. I, I just hope eventually the algorithm shit goes, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. It's been like 30 weeks. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And then there's like 50 viewer increases every week. That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome, dude. Holy shit. Man. Um, I, I got a free shotgun last weekend. Okay. Um, So I, I've been pretty happy about that. Mm-hmm. I can show it. I it... think I can show it on here. Uh... I don't think... It's not... Well, okay, you my... Show the... We're not monetizing for one. Yeah, you can show the top and for of two, it, I guess. I don't think I don't think the video would get taken down. No, probably not. For just showing it. Probably not. Um, but this is this is my new shotgun that I got. You've been you swung around a knife before and there was no issue. Okay. Very true. Okay. Um. It is empty. Ooh. YouTube. It's fucking empty. There's You're making nothing all the coming good out of gun it. noises. Empty. My gosh. Oh, I know, dude. Welcome, welcome to the Gun ASMR podcast. Okay, <laughs> this is my shotgun. Watch, the, listen to this. I gotta figure out how I can <laughs> actually <laughs> dry dry fire ASMR. All right, now it's time for the to cock the slide. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I just had my monkey Common brain buckets. activate about that. I was going Ooh, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a pretty nice shotgun overall. The only problem I've run into is that it does not have iron sights. Hmm. Uh, which people will be like, oh, it's a fucking shotgun. Who gives a fuck? And it's like, no, it. I was shooting at targets 15 yards away from me mm-hmm. with this shotgun. 
hit nothing because it didn't have iron sights. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> so don't I wish I got there that and tell me that I can hit whatever I want with it. I wish I Bullshit. got the Remington from Black Ops Two, man. That'd be so fucking cool. But I also can, don't uh, trust myself with that. guns. I do not trust myself with guns. Man, next time you come to Ohio, we should. You should come down. We should go shooting, mm. and I can set you straight on firearms i think can, i think you'd have a lot of fun with can it can you teach me how to throw a decoy grenade as well yeah cool. yeah i can probably teach you the decoy grenade uh, i have um what were those like electric tampon things from black ops 2 you know what i'm talking about shock charge or something <laughs> yeah dude shock charge yeah this little yeah no we, that we you stick in we used to yeah, I'll, I'll I'll teach you all about shock charges. <laughs> no, that is that is what we all used to call them back when we were all playing Black Ops Two a bunch. Is uh, well, actually, no, I wasn't uh, playing with like, like the current friend group. I was playing with other people, but we would call them tampons. <laughs> whenever we threw one. <laughs> I really hope Black Ops Six sees the return of the shock charges. Yeah, I thought they did something. That was like the same as a shock charge in one of the modern warfare games, one of like the newer ones. But uh, I can't remember what it is or if they even did it in the first place. <laughs> it just sounds like something they would have done. So uh, I do not remember for zombies or not, but uh, did they connect the zombie story in Cold War or not? Um, like from the original. Oh, what's that? There is there is a fly on my. Like, are you saying like next Cold War zombie to goddamn to um like are you asking if they connected it to like the OG zombie storyline or something? Yeah, like is one through four still going through Cold War when no. it comes to zombies? No, no, it's it's like all. A whole new thing they have like weaver from black ops one he's leading like kind of fucking team or some shit mm -hmm. and the goal is like oh we must get the element one one five and we <laughs> must kill the zombies and all the operators are like yeah dude we're gonna fucking we're gonna kill so many fucking zombies so they like go to different places and um uh they like kill a bunch of zombies and they do the easter eggs mm -hmm. and then that's how the story progresses i guess so, like, uh, Rick Toffin's not a part of it or anything? Not that I know of. I haven't seen his name tossed around. Dr. Maxis is okay. from the original storyline. They added him in. Um, hmm. I don't know. Unless they do something with uh, Black Ops 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Black Ops 6. Uh, unless they do, like, some weird shit with Black Ops 6. Because realistically we are at the beginning of the current like new zombie storyline so they very well could throw Richtoff and Dempsey Nikolai and Takeo in there somewhere it would be um, super interesting if they like do a fucking Avengers endgame and they just come out of portal oh my god that would be fucking retarded they would do it I, I can already imagine how it would look and it would be fucking they fuck it up. I yeah. feel like they would fuck that up really bad. It would be the least cool thing ever. <laughs> Rick Toffin would be like, "We are back in the present" or something, like some retarded yeah. scripting. I hate the way British people say Rick Toffin, <laughs> so they say it Rick Toffin. Rick Toffin. But well, let me clarify. I hate all British people mm -hmm. and everything they do and everything they support and think about. But I hate that, like, overall, over everything else. I hate that the mm -hmm. most, that they say Richtofen. <laughs> Just say. Like, it, even in Germany, it's like, Richtofen. Like, mm. they, it's Richtofen. That's how you fucking say it in English. Say it <laughs> properly. I understand your teeth are fucked up, and it might be a bit of a stretch, but, I mean, just a practice the pronunciation mm -hmm. and the enunciation of the word, and it's not hard. Oh, wait, they're British. They don't understand what I'm saying. Because they're retarded. Oh, wait, and they suck. <laughs> so mean. Oh, wait. They're British. And they're gay. <laughs> and they're gay. 
that's Trump going up on stage, fucking just trashing British people. Mm-hmm. Just the British, they have horrible teeth, the worst <laughs> teeth anybody's ever seen. Horrible breath, the worst breath, except Boris Johnson. He looks just like me. <laughs> and they say Rick Toffin really weird. I don't know what's going on there. I but just want to continue. I think every British person. Should, <laughs> I just want to. I think every British person should like kill a, themselves. I just want to continue the zombie storyline. That's all I want to do. I've been playing since. World at War, <laughs> great World at War, one of the best World at one Wars. One of the worst years in politics, one of the best years for Call of Duty. 2008, <laughs> I remember it, amazing. Obama got elected, <laughs> they elected, they elected Orifice Obama, that's what they call him. Oh shit. To the office when it should have been me, they should have just voted, everybody should have voted. Even though I wasn't even running. <laughs> You're doing it with the mic me. in your hand. That's so dumb. That's I'm so carrying dumb a microphone. Looking. This is how I <laughs> do my microphone. A lot of people say, Donald Trump, what, why do you hold your microphone like that? I tell them I don't care. They can <laughs> shut the fuck up and suck my dick. They can lift up my front gut that covers my penis and suck it. You know that's how they censored Peter Griffin in Family Guy? They made him fat enough where it covers his junk. Oh, yeah. That's like the goofiest <laughs> thing I've learned about character design. Is if you want to get away with nudity, have your guy be fat as hell. Well, they did. Well, SpongeBob got the short end of the stick there because he doesn't even have a dick. True. How is he supposed to fuck? I mean... How is he? How yeah. is he happy every day? Yeah, waking up happy to go to his fucking fast food job. He doesn't even have a dick. He, he's also he shaped like off. a fucking like dishwashing s- sponge. It's not a natural yeah. occurring sponge, like his parents. Yeah. And then Patrick Starr, he doesn't have a dick either. Maybe that's why they're best friends. None of them. Do you think? Do actually, you think I don't SpongeBob's think SpongeBob's adopted. I don't think anybody on that show has a penis now that I'm thinking about it, actually. (laughs) Do you think Spongebob is adopted, though? Because, like, he doesn't look like his parents. He doesn't look like his grandparents. He very well could be because he'd have to get the having no penis gene, presumably from from a male. And if his dad didn't have a penis, he would have to be adopted. Yeah. But then again... That's like genetic makeup being passed down. So does does his dad have a dick or not? When hmm. in the fucking hmm. SpongeBob, like like they do have his weird family history flashbacks of SpongeBob where his mom is pregnant with him and he's like inside the womb eating the uh, <laughs> umbilical cord. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that's a part of the SpongeBob universe. What? Why is an episode show that? of that? Why did they show They showed an embryonic, umbryonic, whatever it's called, uh, Spongebob. (laughs) Was it the Roe v. Wade episode of Spongebob? I don't think so. Uh, It's from like season eight, I think. Season eight, nine. Somewhere in there. Uh, And that's like a whole plot line because he's like, oh... Well, I miss my mom, and I miss my dad. It really sucks that I don't meet with them all the time. And then it shows flashbacks of him in embryo form. Uh, And then he's born, and then he's like three, and then he's like 12, and then he graduates high school. And then he uh, has to live with his grandparents. Maybe he's a slacker. Maybe he got kicked out of his family's house. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Do you think um, what kind of guy in high school do you think SpongeBob was? He was the nerd think- in the corner that would hang out in computer lab all day and not do anything he else. Was, he was a wallflower. Yeah, yeah. I think he was a sweet little wallflower. In, in recess, they would SpongeBob choose him less. SpongeBob, he's a sweet little wallflower. I <laughs> know not a lot about SpongeBobbies. My sweet Sponge, little wallflower. If JD Vance wasn't there, SpongeBob would be my vice president. That'd be, be insane if Trump 
unironically went on stage at the RNC and was like, SpongeBob, he's my <laughs> vice president. And they just play like SpongeBob clips on the fucking TV. Like, there's no actual vice president, but it's yeah, written yeah, it down has, on an it American It has the classic as, laugh and everything. And, Sp- and yeah, SpongeBob, SpongeBob goes, I support Mr. Trump. And then the crowd goes wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the closest I'll ever get to SpongeBob's voice, by the way. Yeah, SpongeBob, he, he like he sounds like this and he goes, die, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> That's like my best impression. My, my, my favorite impression. thing about uh SpongeBob is Mr. Krabs laugh being egg 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 egg. He just says egg repeatedly. Egg 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 egg. Yeah, I like seeing uh, Mr. Krabs voice actor and shit. Like he was in uh, Ballad of Buster Scruggs and Buster Scruggs <laughs> kills him. <laughs> he was just... in Detroit Become Human as that detective yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he Connor. was. But anytime, anytime you hear, he was in Mass Effect too, I think. Oh, really? Um, huh. Yeah, but anytime he's like voice acting or he's playing a role, he just sounds like Mr. Krabs. So <laughs> I don't even know the fucker's name that voices him. I just it's call him Mr. Like Krabs. Kenneth or something. Yeah, Kenneth Dooliardi or some bullshit <laughs> like that, I bet is his name. Kenneth or 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 Kenneth shitty farty more like. I haven't He's talked like, about FNAF I shit my pants! I kick 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 kick! I just took a shit in my <laughs> pants! SpongeBob, me boy, you need to eat the shit out of my pants. <laughs> There's too much of it. I, I like Mr. how Krabs, uh, but... the one thing that makes every generation relate with each other right now is SpongeBob, because it's been around fucking forever. I'm as old as SpongeBob. SpongeBob yeah. or SpongeBob's a few months older than I am, but it yeah. came out in '99. It, it's very interesting because. Uh, some people will be like, a grill is just a grill. And then other people will be like, Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza. Yeah. 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 And then there's other people that are like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, there's at least three separate SpongeBob generations that all, like, yeah. joke around about the show. I didn't watch SpongeBob until I was, like, nine years old. <laughs> It's true. I, I watched SpongeBob. It's because I thought <laughs> when I was It's like because seven. I thought Nickelodeon was gay. Mm. I was like Cartoon Network's for cool people, Nickelodeon's for girls and fags, so I'm not well, watching Nickelodeon. I started as a uh as a Disney guy, right? And I was like I three. never liked Disney Channel. I, I watched Power I Rangers a Disney on Disney and then my sister got into oh. That's So Raven. Well, th- they had um, what was that shit called? Jetix or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 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 I watched that shit. They had the that, cool shit on they there. They turned that you? shit into Disney XD, which is stupid. Yeah, and I actually know I was a Disney XD truth. Hmm. Hmm. This is fucking awesome. They had good shows on there. <laughs> then that became the hub, and the hub also had some pretty good shows like uh, Dan versus. Oh, that show was fuck. funny as fuck. Dan dude. versus. That show was hilarious. That fucking scene where it's like i don't care who the irs sends i'm not paying taxes <laughs> like it, like i always bitch to people about like man i fucking hate being single it's been two fucking years why can't i get a gf mm. and, and like that is how i talk to women though yeah. that approach me you're, you're just and then i think about it later Dan. yeah like i think about it later and i'm like oh she was hitting on me but like a chick will come up to me and ask me some shit and i'll be like I don't care who the IRS sends. I'm not fucking paying taxes. So, you know, I'm like just completely socially unaware when women to me. Um, but yeah, I was a Disney. <laughs> I was a Disney funny. guy. And and I watched like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody when that started. Um, yeah, I watched that. I, watched I would watch On uh, Deck. I watched Waverly Place. Yeah. I watched, Wizards uh, of Waverly Place. I watched uh, Sunny with a Chance when that was on. Uh, I watched. You watch, a, I watched. So did you watch much Dog bullshit. with a Blog? I I did watch a single episode of Dog with a Blog. Um, Dude, like what else did I watch? I watched her. Jesse because Debbie Ryan is hot. Um, yeah, that is literally the only reason. Uh, let's see here. I watched Even Stevens, 
with Shia LaBeouf one, yeah. when I was like four. And I was like, oh, he's going to be a fucking great actor. And then he was in Transformers three years later. And I was like, holy fuck, I was right. Yeah, I remember after the first Transformers movie came out, I went and saw it in theaters and I was like fucking crazy about it. Yeah. And I was over at my aunt's house like a little after that. It was like a while, like months or something after <laughs> that. And fucking even Steven, or it was, uh, was it even Stevens or Phil of the future? Was Shia LaBeouf and Phil of the future too? Uh, maybe. I, I just remember some, even Stevens. I, it was one of those. Him, I think. Yeah, well, one of those two shows was on TV, and my aunt's like, "That's the same guy in Transformers that plays Sam from Transformers." And I remember being a kid, just like looking at him and just slowly like soy facing, <laughs> just going like. <gasps> That's Sam Wickwicky. <laughs> Horrible last name for a character, yeah. by the way. Wickwicky. Yeah, what so the fuck bad. was he? What, so what bad. was Michael Bay smoking? I want some. But um, no, and, and that shit blew my mind that <laughs> actors can like act in like a movie, but they can also be in like other stuff, mm-hmm. like other movies and shows. It never like clicked with me that Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode one uh, could be the guy in train spotting who's a heroin addict. That like. Yeah. You know, I, I was like, who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah, that's why I started getting confused about Wizards of Waverly Place, because I saw Selena as four different characters in Sweet Life before she was oh, yeah. even on Wizards. And then I was like, that's true. Who? I've seen this bitch before. Who is this? And my sister was like, that's Selena Gomez. She's cool as shit. And I was like, I agree. I, I, I agree yeah. wholly. Oh, my gosh. I watched yeah. one season. That ass of, is really singing her praises. I, I watched one episode of Good Luck Charlie, uh, maybe a season. Um, that show was pretty good because of Bridget Medler. I was like, oh, she's cute, mm-hmm. but she also looks like she's like twenty. So I don't want to fuck with that. Uh, <laughs> I, I was also like nine, so benefit of the doubt, I guess. Uh, yeah, women are terrifying when you're nine and when you're 24. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, outside of that, like I watched almost every single fucking Power Rangers episode I could for a long time, from like when I was four to when I was like 12. Uh, endless mm-hmm. supply of Power Rangers in my brain. Um, yeah. I, I fucking loved when, Mystic Force so much. I really wish they followed up on another season of that show. Yeah, I remember watching uh, fucking Dino Thunder and thinking, yeah, that was shit. I had Dino, had f- Dino Thunder action figures at one point. Yeah, they had another one too. It was I remember it was the last time I watched Power there, Rangers. There was, it was SPD the last, like, and there was Operation Overdrive. It might have been Operation Overdrive. I don't know. I rec- I just know, like, there was, like, a, an animal aspect to it or something. Like, the Power Ranger Oh, Jungle Fury. Like, you watched Jungle, Jungle Fury, Fury, dude. Fury, yeah. That one was yeah, so fucking good. Yeah, that was the last good. time I had I watched. Yeah, I thought it was fucking awesome. Like, I was, like, 11 years old watching that shit, and I was like, dude, this is, like, the least gay thing <laughs> ever. Like, Gears of yeah. War 2 might actually be less gay than this but this still might is among the least gay thing like there was also a ninja storm or something like that before all of that shit. yeah that was the first one yeah, i ever I watched ninja storm ninja storm was so fucking good uh and then they did samurai yeah. and i fucking didn't care about it because it was on nickelodeon and the only thing i cared about on nickelodeon was dan schneider shows in spongebob Anything outside yeah, of that, I, I did not care. One. You were, uh, do you like Fanboy and Chub Chub? Was that your favorite oh, show? If we're talking Nicktoons, that's a different section. That's a that's a whole different section of TV. Um, I, I tell you what, whenever God, Fanboy I and Chub Chub would come man. on the fucking tv in the morning i wanted a gun so i could kill <laughs> myself because i hated that show oh i woke up immediately at four. Would switch to pawn stars I, I accidentally woke up at four one time and watched the invader zim episode where he eats people's organs and like harvest them i watched <laughs> yeah. that at four in the morning 
And then <laughs> right after that, I watched the Mr. Meaty episode with the tapeworm. And Dude, I like scarred myself to <laughs> for a long time. Dude, that must have been funny as shit to see from an outside perspective. Because you're probably like, thank God this Invader Zim episode is over. That was really fucked up. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's Mr. Meaty. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know what a tapeworm was. I was just like terrified when that came up. Uh, if I remember right, the guy that had the tapeworm, he like slowly like became more gaunt and like skinny yeah, as yeah. time went on. It looked all episode. creepy and fucked up. It was so fucked. Uh, and then uh, also on Nicktoons, unironically, every episode of Jimmy Neutron possible in my data bank, yeah. brother. Uh, anything from my life as a teenage robot. In my fucking data banks, brother. Oh my god! Did you think? Uh, did you think the robot from that show was hot? Yeah, but also it was I a robot, too. so I was like, I don't want to die. You know, the fucking same. I was yeah. like, I was like, watch. I would watch that show as a kid, and I'd be like seven, and I'd be like, like she's hot, yeah. but she's also like, yeah. what am I supposed to do with that? I don't even know what <laughs> sex is yet, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this robot Ex bitch. Exactly. That was something. me with uh, Debbie Ryan on Sweet Life on Deck. I, I was <laughs> yeah. just like in love so bad. Same thing with uh, Vanessa Hudgens' High School Musical. I was oh, like, yeah. oh, this girl is going to be my yeah. wife. Never happened. Um, that was also, because she's like that was 38. one of my favorites. Her and Ashley Tisdale oh, were yeah. like two of my. Those were like my yeah. top two like hottest girls when I was a kid. Uh, like Cartoon Vanessa Network. Vanessa Hudgens. Oh my god. And then Ashley Tisdale was number two. <laughs> Cartoon Network wise, I can go on a fucking rampage of shows because my sister first watched Powerpuff Girls, and then we just kept watching the channel. Or like right after it was probably like 2004 to like 2013 just mostly what I would watch is that like total drama island uh, Foster's home for imaginary friends generator Rex underrated class oh yeah I forgot about that that was done by the Ben 10 yeah, people yeah Ben 10 oh, original yeah. series and alien force yeah, and the one after goated. that fucking great uh oh, yeah. lego ninjago when that started oh such a good show um same thing with adventure time regular show gumball all that shit all that class yeah, Car man. cartoon network is pretty consistent when it comes to coming out with bangers i feel like like yeah <laughs> i feel like there's more cartoon network like cartoons that have aged better than compared to like some Nickelodeon stuff. Yeah. But anytime people talk about like all oh, the best cartoons on Nickelodeon were from the nineties and it's like, yeah, they probably were because Cartoon Network literally was blowing them out of the water yeah. throughout the fucking early two thousands up Even until though, like the twenty tens. It's interesting to see that Adventure Time's first pitch was put on Nickelodeon and they didn't pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, I I remember that. I was like, bro, <laughs> How do and it ended up becoming like one of the biggest so shows hard. ever. It ended up becoming one of the biggest animated shows ever, and like Nickelodeon just fucking slept on it. I feel like the vibe of that show is more Cartoon Network anyway. Yeah, and I, I feel like Cartoon silly. Network shows get more lee. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like Cartoon Network shows get a lot more leeway with what they can do story wise and like dialogue wise compared to Nickelodeon. That's probably why I loved Cartoon Network way more mm. growing up. Mm. Like I, I, I just know they had Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and that oh, was like, yeah. like my favorite. Show. I watched the this fucking day, movie still... for that too. That fucking yeah, movie too. was so was good. Awesome. It was, it was, it's like uh, a great Camp movie. Laszlo. It was a made for TV. It was a the the fucking oh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie movie. It's a fucking made for TV like one off Cartoon so Network movie. It was so well, and it's made. fucking goaded. It's the best. <laughs> it's like one of the best movies that came out of Cartoon Network Studios. Is the Ed, Ed, and Eddie the movie? Or the big picture show, that's yeah. what they called it. Uh, Camp Laszlo. Uh, I did not know this. I don't think I remember watching the finale. Uh, so spoilers for a show that's been around for 15 years. 
but uh, apparently the camp counselor was just a criminal <laughs> that knocked out the original camp counselor and took his place and what? then just got arrested in the last episode. What? Yeah. And I was like, when did this happen? What? <laughs> like, it's such a good plot twist. What? <laughs> exactly. Like, what the fuck? Oh, so I, I've never good. seen the finale for that. I did not show, know that the show fucking ended like that. That's crazy. Uh, I, I, I remember just, I watched Cartoon I remember- Network in my parents' uh, room, and I would watch all the way to when American Dad started, or like the Cleveland show, or sometimes Family Guy. So you would hear, good morning, USA. I know it's going to be a <laughs> wonderful day when it's like nine at night and I had to turn it down. <laughs> that, you know, that was kind of bullshit that they would, that they that Cartoon Network would do that to kids. It's yeah. just like, you know, yeah, we're finally ending the program. Time for Adult Swim. <laughs> just like as loud as yeah. fucking possible or, like, or that was be, really uh, mean of them to do be, that or be this is the cleveland show yeah like just as loud as possible yeah like at least family guy starts out like with like some like foreword or whatever for the episode, yeah. like they establish a plot and then they go into it. So they at least <laughs> have time to turn that shit down. Not American Dad and Cleveland show. Seth MacFarlane said, "Fuck every kid." Here's an to intro, watch this bitch. <laughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, here's the loudest intro you've ever heard in your whole fucking <laughs> life. All eight years of it. Oh, Fuck man. you. And and it's it's funny because whenever Adult Swim came up, my parents are like, "You can't watch that. You can't watch that." So. Uh, I would only watch the first like five minutes of a Cleveland show episode and then turn it off. So I would get, <laughs> Loretta, can we please get the kids back in school? I, I would just get like <laughs> premises and then turn off the TV. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you to like figure out like make your own it's like a choose your own adventure but you're thinking about the cleveland show while uh, you go to bed dude can you imagine a fucking cleveland show mmo that'd be insane <laughs> i would fucking play the hell out of that imagine fucking like your mom comes in and she's like sees cleveland show on sees that it's adult swim and she's like you need to turn this off and you're just like god mom i'm trying <laughs> to learn about fucking black people right now <laughs> I'm You're trying fucking to it up. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm trying to learn about black people right now. <laughs> Why won't yeah, you let me learn about black that. people? <laughs> What's wrong that. with them? I, I just think uh, <laughs> it's funny that then there would also be like uh, Nick at Night. And my sister would watch Nick at Night. Yeah, George and, Lopez channel. And yeah, it would be, oh my God, a little bit lighter. And then it would Nick also be was... uh, there was a dentist like a like a claymation dentist show. Oh, it was, it was um, something oh, DDS. Shit. Glenn Martin DDS. Yeah, I, I love. Yeah, that I show. watched I was that. A big shit. Fan of Glenn Martin. And that had more blood in it than like any American Dad intro possible. It, 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 that show freaked me out at first because it reminded me of Robot Chicken. I remember yeah. waking up one night in the middle of the night and Robot Chicken playing the most traumatic shit of my <laughs> world shouldn't be watching. Hell yeah. And so when I saw Glenn Martin DDS, immediately I was like, oh no. <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> but it ended up being, yeah, I had Vietnam flashbacks to Robot Chicken. And, uh, but I, I watched a couple episodes of it and I was like, yeah, this show's pretty fucking good actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. It's just um, so many fucking good shows. The one show I yeah. wish I fucking watched was on FX slash FXX, and it was Archer. Mm-hmm. I fucking wish I oh, watched yeah. the hell out of Archer, because that show looks cool as hell. I've just never had yeah, time w- or like any way of watching it. Yeah, I know I've watched enough archer to understand references that i could make to other people about archer Mm -hmm. and have them think at age 12 or whatever that i knew like that i watched that show a lot when i definitely did not i watched like three episodes just to see like okay highway to the danger zone that's funny okay he hates women that's funny (laughs) (laughs) uh, 
okay, he's a drunk, I guess, or mm-hmm. some shit. I don't know. There's like another thing. And I was like, okay, I pretty much understand this show. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I basically watch every episode now. Awesome. <laughs> no. I, I guess there was like 12 seasons of it. I, I've just never had time to watch any of it. Yeah. And it sucks. Yeah, that show went on for a while. I think it's on Hulu. I know. Last I uh, checked, it was. I, I never watched Bob's Burgers outside of like a random season two episode and i don't remember any of it yeah i've seen some episodes of bob's burgers i um i remember one time like two years ago i was hanging out with this chick and like she sucked me off Hmm. and then um (laughs) we went to bed watching bob's burgers and that's the only like memory of bob's burgers i really have that, that's a very interesting that's a very interesting memory <laughs> hell yeah dude i should bring that up unprompted to anybody that brings up <laughs> bob's burgers even in the slightest just out of the blue just start telling that fucking story <laughs> oh man what's another show i didn't really watch much of did you watch much Everybody Hates Chris? Oh, I, I remember my I mom the fuck and my sister. My mom, my sister, and I would... Uh, when my stepdad at the time would be out of town, we'd all sleep uh, in the same room. So we'd sleep in mom's room, yeah. and we'd fucking put on Everybody Hates Chris. And my mom, her favorite character was Rochelle. <laughs> Because Rochelle would come up with the craziest expressions for whooping ass. Hell yeah. And my mom would, like, if we were being, like, really shitty kids, she'd whoop our ass (laughs) so that we, like, understood, hey, maybe don't do that anymore. And um, I I just remember there's the one episode, This I remember this fucking joke killed my mom laughing. She was like, I'm surprised she didn't hurt herself. (laughs) But there's a thing where uh, I think... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, Drew, Chris's brother, like, cheated. Like, his Chris's girlfriend cheated on him with Drew. Drew knew that it was his girlfriend. So, both his girlfriend and Drew were in the wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chris Rock comes in on the voiceover. He's like, never in my life have I been so close <laughs> to slapping the black off a motherfucker. Or whatever. <laughs> and they had, like, a whole skit where, like, Drew comes out in a stretcher and he's, he's like, part of his face is white and they're like yeah we, we have a huge situation here that's like his older cool. brother just just smacked the black off of him his older brother just smacked the black off of him. I was like, Holy shit, that's, that's so crazy. fucking cool <laughs> like, and i just remember my mom dying, fucking laughing at that she <laughs> she loved that fucking show more than my sister and i i feel like oh man uh every single uh Adam Sandler movie from like 2000 to present day for the most part I've seen (laughs) and it's mostly because of my dad being like oh he's the best comedian ever we need to watch everything he does your dad's a Sandler guy yeah that's that's kind of funny you don't meet a whole lot of Sandler guys anymore we watched uh, Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2 uh, extensively for like many many times same thing with I've still never seen stories either. and click and uh click I, I watched Big Daddy once I think I saw Big Daddy I saw Lil Nicky a couple times Lil Nicky's a Maybe good Maybe it one. wasn't No yeah No I, I saw the first Big Daddy movie hmm. in theaters or Wait wait which one has John Cena is in it is it oh, the no, first one or the second You you're thinking of a whole different franchise what am I thinking of? You're you're thinking of Mark Wahlberg <laughs> oh, and Will Ferrell, yeah. Daddy's Home, Daddy's yeah, Home, Daddy's, Daddy's Home, home yeah, too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I just knew one of. Okay. Yeah. Big that makes Daddy sense. I just is knew one uh, of those movies. <laughs> Big Daddy <laughs> is Adam Sandler and Dylan slash Cole Sprouse from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody before Sweet Life and Zach, of Zack and Cody. Okay, and it's a really so fucking would, good movie. It has Zach and Cody in it before they had their names? Yeah, yeah. They they were uh, child child one were, and child two. <laughs> they were person <laughs> and person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude one and dude two. Fuck yeah, dude. that's how they're credited in the movie. <laughs> oh man, I guess uh, people keep on trying to 
make it known that like when uh what was it it's not it's not modern family no that's uh sovia vergara uh fuck full house people were trying oh, yeah. to say the full house twin kids that stamos has were zach and cody and i don't think that's right what? I don't think no, that's right. No, it was right. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, the other blonde twins. No, no, that was uh, uh, fucking. No, the Olsen twins. That was Full House. Yeah, but those to... were the two little girls. There was two little boys too, and both of them oh. were on camera. Yeah, it was like a late season like subplot. Like the show started getting stale. Yeah, so they're like let's add they, more they little gave, kids into this. Yeah, they Can't gave get any more a set of twins. Uh, with that lady who was really nice, um, and <laughs> and I, John, I can't believe John that Stamos shit. fucking sucked. <laughs> he, he was like the shittiest guy ever in Full yeah, House. I, I don't know so how bad. he redeemed himself. I don't remember the plot. I just remember that well, he, Joey he, was a piece of shit the entire time. Joey was funny as fuck. He made that show tolerable for me. Yeah. I just remember John Stamos, Uncle Jesse. Yeah, I just remember he was like fucking like take out the papers in the trash or you don't get no spending cash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't like he was like a rockabilly guy or some shit. It's like, dude, this is like, shut the fuck That's up, so fucking dude. Goofy. <laughs> Play some real music. <laughs> well, uh, I think that would be the end of this week's pod, episode twenty nine. Thank you guys for listening. Have a good one. Yep. Have a phenomenal day, everybody. And you don't seem to understand. A shame you see.